Xi Jinping has a growing list of things to worry about, COVID-19, crashing property values, inflation, Nancy Pelosi, you name it. But the Chinese president's biggest problem might be in Tokyo. Something strange is going on amongst Chinese banks, a whole lot of lending from institution to institution. Last Friday, bank-to-bank -bank dealing and the overnight repurchase agreement market hit a record of more than $900 billion. This is what happens when you run out of productive things to do with the tidal waves of capital the central bank turns into the financial system. It's precisely the sort of liquidity trap about which John Maynard Keynes warned decades ago. It's how credit creation mechanisms freeze up. Students of Japan's 2000s know the drill. They also know this is very much not where I wanted the People's Bank of China, or his economy, to be in 2022. As economist Ming Ming at Citic Securities tells Bloomberg, excess cash is piling up in the financial system instead of being funneled to the real economy. Despite so much bot created cash sloshing around, China's banks are resorting to the financial equivalent of talk amongst themselves. For years now, economists like Nobel laureate Paul Krugman worried China might fall into a Japan-like funk. That was after the 2008 Lehman Brothers crisis, when the globe followed the Bank of Japan down the quantitative easing path. The details of China's quandary are different than what the Krugmans of the world expected. Descending into deflation doesn't seem to be Beijing's challenge. Not with Russia's Ukraine war sending prices of oil and other commodities skyward. Yet the pushing on a string problem China faces is arguably the last thing Xi needs as growth flatlines at the worst possible moment given his political objectives. Later this year, Xi plans to fulfill his longtime dream, securing a norm-breaking third term as Communist Party leader. Odds are high that will still happen, yet Xi's self-imposed economic troubles risk spoiling the party. A major reason China faces recession chatter is his zero-COVID policy and the massive lockdowns it requires. Draconian shutdowns of entire metropolises worked in 2020. It's futile, though, amid more transmissible variants. Today, containment is virtually impossible, even if Xi missed the memo. Several times since January, Beijing signaled a pivot to a nimbler dynamic zero-COVID strategy, whatever that means. Yet investors still expect lockdowns to be Beijing's default reaction to new infection waves. Lu Ting, economist at Nomura Holdings, thinks China is now trapped in a COVID business cycle. The risk is that China's GDP will gyrate indefinitely with spikes and plunges in infection rates, 